I'm on a nice cool Tuesday morning hike at Iroquois Park. The temperature is about 62 degrees. I love hiking on cool mornings like this. I'm hiking down a hill and I look over to my right and I see a deer bedded down. It's a beautiful doe. She's getting up now. Time to eat again. She was finished chewing her cud. She knows I'm here, she's not running away. She's just going on about her business. She looked up the hill, so maybe there's some more up there. Now she's walking towards me. It's like I'm not even here. Good morning, pretty girl. Where's all your friends? Well, I'm gonna let her be. I'm gonna keep on hiking. That was a cute young doe. Now I need to get down there and cross that gully. A little fawn just ran off up there. I think it jumped that log. I don't see it. Now where did that little rascal go? Those little fawns can run so fast. But that's a good thing. There's a lot of hungry coyotes in this park. Well, I saw a deer run off up there. Could have been that little fawn again. I see a deer over there on the other side of that log. It's bedded down over there. It just got up. Beautiful doe. There's a young doe, I think it's a doe. That's an odor though. Well, there's three of them over there. It's a mama with her twins from last year. Here they go up that hill.
They're not in a hurry though. Where'd the rest of them go? There's one to my left. There's two of them. I see four in this area. There's one back there. There's two there. Now I'm counting five. I'm not sure how many deer are in this area. I think they're all those. Now they're headed off in that direction over there. Oh, I think this one is a buck. Yeah, it is a buck. Beautiful young book. Those deer crossed this gully and they're over there now. I'm hiking up the hill and I see a deer in front of me. There's another one, and another one. I see one of them in front of me. There's another one. It's behind that tree now. Found them again. This is a young buck. And this is a beautiful young doe. And the buck's taking off. Where'd he go? up there somewhere. Oh, I see the buck up there. There he is. The sun is so bright, it almost look, looks like fog. There's another doe. And then here comes another one. I guess that's a doe. That is a doe.
think I have enough pictures and video of them. I'm walking past them now. I'm very high up on the hill. I'm leaving them behind now. One way over there. I need to get on my way. I spent a lot of time back there with those deer. Now I need to pick up the pace a little bit. I'm on my way down this hill. I just saw a deer run off down there. And then I saw it running up that hill. I didn't get a real good look at it. I'm not even sure it was a deer. It could have been a coyote. If it was a coyote, I know I'll never see it again. They are very elusive. I'm pretty sure that was a coyote. I've seen coyotes in this area before. There's a big spider web. I'm on the trail that leads up to the top. I'm on my way up. I'm at Rita's Point. Time to take a break. I see a new mushroom at the bottom of this tree. I finally made it up here. Now I'm going to go piddle around in Summerfield for a little bit. There's an eastern tiger swallowtail butterfly on the musk thistle. There's a bumblebee and a cloudless sulfur butterfly. And there's the eastern tiger swallowtail butterfly. I'm checking out the mullein weed. This is where I'm coming from. I'm on Top Hill Road and that's Summit Field. I'm checking out the largest pond in Summit Field. I see two mallard ducks male and a female. Aren't they beautiful? They're at the other end now. I guess they're gonna stay down there. I'm going to take off now. There's some milkweed blooming out in this area. I see the bees have found it. Bumblebees. I don't see any butterflies yet, but they'll be here. I'm at the Monarch Way Station and Pollinator Garden. Let's see what I can find in here this morning. Found some bee bomb out here. There's some bees on it. Bumblebees. There's a hummingbird moth. There's another hummingbird moth.
more bee balm, wild bergamot bee balm, and some butterfly weed. There's a yellow breasted chad up at the top of that tree. Isn't that a beautiful bird? I love the sounds it makes. Yep, that's enough video. You can see how far away from me it is. Here's some more milkweed with the bumblebee, mm -hmm. two bumblebees. Pollinating the flowers. Here comes the third. found some white false indigo. There's a common white-tailed dragonfly. There's a bullfrog over there somewhere, but I don't see it. Where is it hiding? I give up. I can't find the bullfrogs in there. There's a little squirrel that just crossed the road in front of me. I just saw a deer run back into the woods. There it is. I think it's alone. It's taken off in that direction and I'm not going to try to follow her. Pretty sure she's alone. There's a great spangled fritillary butterfly on the milkweed. This one has a damaged wing. I don't know how it flies with a wing that has that much damage. I'm leaving Summit Field now. <laughs> There's some more of that noise pollution. I'm not going to go to the North Overlook. I'm going to take this trail down. My wife and I hiked this trail about 52 years ago. It was our first date. I'm getting close to the bottom of Uphill Road. Now I'm headed to the bottom of Uphill Road. 
I'm at the bottom of Uphill Road. I'm on Rundell Road on my way to the golf course parking lot where I'm parked. It's time for this old man to go home. There's an eastern towhee up in the top of that tree. There's a young groundhog on the golf course parking lot. There's the clubhouse up there. Now this one's <laughs> walking towards me. You coming over to visit me?